So I'm trying to get all this laundry put away and go through everybody's clothes and switch out all the clothes that are too little and get rid of those and just make room and just get rid of a lot of stuff because we have too many pairs of clothes in this house for all these kids and it takes me hours to do all this laundry. So I'm working and working and working in here and I have piles here to give away and piles here to hang up and these to put away and I'm sorting and sorting and sorting. And then I hear the little boys in the laundry room. So I walk in here to the laundry room and this is what I find. They have came in here and dumped everything in the floor. Hmm. So, y'all pray for me. Okay, so here's the bed. You'll see there's no clothes on the bed. That's a miracle. Honestly, in this house, it's a miracle. We like to keep up with the laundry, and we do the laundry. There's just so much of it. Usually the bed has clothes on it, and we fold them and try to put them away that day, but sometimes that doesn't always happen, depending on appointments and things like that. And then you'll see there, there aren't any clothes on the floor. I bagged all the stuff up that we didn't need anymore, and Jamie will take it to Goodwill. And here is the laundry room. You notice the floor looks a lot different. All the socks are not everywhere and all the shoes and all the clothes buckets are not dumped out. And you'll see, this is two of the girls clothes here. And then they have a little basket for the pajamas and things under there. And then here are the, where I keep a lot of the kids clothes. Um, each child has between two and four buckets. It just depends on the child and how old they are specifically and things like that. And then here's the three of the little boys clothes hang up right there and then the two oldest boys clothes are there. Then we have like upward uniforms. Here are the clothes for the three littlest girls and there's two buckets each in there. And then um, there's my clothes hanging right there on these two racks and then I have a basket of clothes under there and those are some Halloween boots for one of the little girls and that's basically all the clothes I keep except for my pajamas I keep in my bathroom I'm very simple as far as clothing is concerned I don't like to have a lot of clothes because it just means more work for me so I keep very little clothes for myself and then here are the three youngest girls dresses and things um that's where they hang up and then we have some costumes for the trunk or treat at church hung up there as well and then here are jamie's clothes so all those are jamie's clothes so i pretty much let the kids pick out which um, baskets they wanted at walmart to put their clothes in and they picked out these cute little animal baskets and the um, sequenced color changing baskets the older girls like those so they picked those out and then uh, the two oldest boys really didn't care that much so just got down some plain baskets pretty much for their clothes and then i have a basket here of hangers and socks that don't have mates who knows They're probably behind the washer or probably outside somewhere at the trampoline if you want to know the truth but I'll probably just throw them away because i can't find them can't find the mates. And then I have a basket here for towels. And then I have a basket for dark and light clothes. And we like to do two loads today, usually. A load of towels and a load of darks or lights. Whichever basket's full. And then we have our shelving here with hats and extra irons. And some artwork that the kids have done that we need to hang on the wall. And then some cowboy hats at the top. And then the diapers and some extra clothing that... Um, really doesn't have a home yet. I don't really know where one of the shirts goes. Um, somebody left it here and I really don't know whose it is. And then that's a new coat there for one of our girls that I'm going to give her in a little bit. And then of course there's our washer and dryer. And I have a basket here 
um, when the clothes come out of the dryer, I put it in there and then usually take it to my room or Rachel does and we fold the clothes and then put them away. And then here's the sign that the kids made. It says, creating me a clean heart, oh God, and renew a right spirit with me. Psalm 5110, that's one of my favorite verses. And the last thing I'll do are shoes. I got these buckets and these shoes. Yeah. When Jayla went on her bear hunt, she wore her Crocs and you can see they're very muddy because you have to go through the mud on your bear hunt. But those are Jaden and Jayla's shoes there. And then the three little boys share a bucket of shoes under here. And then we have Jacob's shoes in here. And this right here is our lovely sock bucket. This is community sock bucket. If you need a pair of socks, you'll find them here. They're folded. You just come here, find your pair, whichever pair fits, and put them on. And if I put them in their baskets, they end up all over the floor. So I'm glad to have them all mated and in there and we usually um make the socks you know once every week or two or something whenever we can get to them it doesn't always happen right away and at that time the kids usually just wear whatever socks they can find it doesn't matter if they're mates or not and then here's james's shoes in there and then we have three of the little girls um have shoes in their brooms so their shoes are not in here because I just don't have room for them in here right now. But they also have a tub like that.